everybody, it's Miss Lynn from Mill Creek Metro Parks. We are at Lake Newport. We've already introduced you to Lake Cohasset and Lake Glacier. Now we want to introduce you to Lake Newport. Lake Newport is the youngest of the three man-made lakes here in, within the park. Um, it was constructed in 1928. It's also the largest of the three lakes originally at 100 acres. Now it's about 60 acres of open water and 40 acres of the wetlands area. Now, if you notice, this is a, a bit of a contrast with the topography of what we know to be north of here, which would be the gorge, which would be Lanterman's Falls, which would be the large rock outcroppings and the ravines. This area mostly was farmland, rather flat, uh, was known to flood when there was a heavy rain. Dr. Jim, I have a picture of it here, which shows a worker starting to clear the area. And you can see it is kind of flat here. This is looking south. And up here in the upper left-hand corner, that road is East Newport Drive. So here at Lake Newport, uh, a lot of beauty, a lot of scenic vistas um, and Volney Rogers, the founder of Mill Creek Park and his brother Bruce, who was the superintendent at the time, um, they worked with well-known landscape architects to actually pick and choose where these scenic vistas would be located. So as you drive along the lake, you're gonna see these openings with park benches and such and parking spaces. Just pull right in there and enjoy the view of the lake. Now here um, at Lake Newport, got a little bit of history behind it. In 1924, a lady by the name of Alice Baldwin Lewis donated about 70 acres of land to the park, uh, specifying that part of it be used to create a lake. And about this time, Mill Creek uh, just kind of meandered through this shallow valley, uh, it, making it very suitable for a man-made lake. In 1928, the Lake Glacier Dam was built, uh, creating what we now know as Lake Newport. Did I say Lake Glacier? I'm going to keep on going. Okay. Gonna keep, on going? keep on yeah, going. I yep. get confused sometimes. So <laughs> Lake, Lake, Lake Newport Dam was built 1928, creating Lake Newport. And Mrs. Lewis requested that the new lake be named for her great, great aunt, Mary Newport, and for uh, Mrs. Lewis's father, Jesse Baldwin. Now this Mary Newport, she sounds like a bit of a corker, uh, back in the uh, Revolutionary War time period in 1760 in Philadelphia, she was quite the entrepreneur. She had a bakery, she had a tailoring, a dressmaking business, and a millery business. Um, and she, it said that she charged wealthy Quaker families a goodly sum of money to instruct their daughters in household economy. That's interesting. And it said that during the war that Mary supplied bread free of charge to the soldiers at Valley Forge. Now she also provided bread to the British soldiers, soldiers, but she charged them twice the cost. Now, if the Baldwin name seems a little bit familiar, it's because Eli Baldwin was the owner of the second mill that was built on Lanterman's Falls back in 1823. Alice Baldwin Lewis's father was Jesse Baldwin, who was the fourth son of Eli Baldwin. Now, at, at times there were um, passenger boats that roamed up and down here at Lake Newport. Sailboats were permitted, small motor boats were permitted, um, as well as sailing boats. Um, and actually sailing instructions were offered here by locals. Now the boathouse has, where we are right now, is on the uh, west side and we're at the north end of Lake Newport. And it was actually the original location for the boathouse. 
But then back in 1954, oh, here's a picture, Dr. Jim, of the original uh, boathouse. Okay. But back in 1954, they moved the boathouse down to the south end of Lake Newport, uh, down by what is now the meadow down there by the um, Albert E. Davies Wetland uh, Trail. And it was down there till about the early 1990s, and then it moved back up here to uh, the north end. So during the season, uh, kayaks are available for rental as are canoes. You're free to bring your own um, kayak or canoe here and, and use Lake Newport for your enjoyment. In fact, uh, just a little bit down on the lake on the left-hand side, the east side, you can actually see uh, some of the racks there uh, with kayaks on them. Um, and you can actually pay a fee to store your kayak there um, all during the season so you don't have to be bringing it back and forth. Now also along the east side there, if you come a little bit uh, forward of the kayak, is the Daffodil Meadow. Um, and that was put in in 1933 on the recommendation that we put in large plantings to catch the eye of the visitors as they toured in their automobiles. It was renovated back in 2015. Uh, celebrating the 100th anniversary of the Garden Club of Youngstown. Now, I have a challenge for you. There was a Mary Newport garden, and there was a big boulder in it, and it was, had on it said, Land for Lake Newport, donated by Alice Baldwin Lewis, in memory of her father, Jesse Baldwin, and her great-great-aunt, Mary Newport. Well, that, this garden was on the east side of Lake Newport, over by the dam. Um, it has since been reclaimed by nature. We hear tales that the boulder was moved over here by the uh, boathouse. We have not been able to find it. So maybe you'll take up the challenge and come visit Lake Newport to see if you can find the boulder that's dedicated to Jesse Baldwin and Mary Newport. So, uh, Dr. Jim, let's just start a little walk here. I think we're going to head over to the Lake Newport Dam. You know, Miss Lynn, we have a trail here. I think I'm going to take the trail and walk that way. If you want to get the car, I'll meet you at the dam. Oh, okay. Good deal. I'll see you there. See soon. you there. All right. We're going to be walking on the West Newport Trail. I'm like a lot of you, I grew up in this area, so I spent a lot of time in Mill Creek Park. It's amazing when you take time and really start to explore and wander the park, how much there is to see that you didn't see as a youngster. We certainly want to invite you to come and enjoy the park. Just beautiful scenery all the way through.
I'm sure you could hear the water in the background. We're going to walk right down to the dam. We're gonna go back and join Miss Lynn. That was your hike. Very nice, very right. scenic, there, just beautiful. Not, not too hard or anything. There's a few places with roots where you have to be careful. Okay. As long as you pay attention to where you're walking, I think you'll be fine. Okay, good to know. See, we can check another trail off of our list. It's We've been on so many trails lately, it's been exciting. Well, now you got a peek at the Lake Newport Dam. If you'll notice, they have this um, platform where you can go right out where Dr. Jim was, and you can feel the foam, the spray, um, and the beauty of the cascading water. The way the dam was um, constructed, it, it lends itself to that cascading down multiple rocks throughout to the, the creek below. And then over at the, the other side, on the east side, you'll see the gigantic boulders where it, it gives itself another type of waterfall. So there's lots of things to explore here in beautiful Mill Creek Metro Parks, especially come out here to Lake Newport, check out some of the trails, uh, and just enjoy the beauty of the season. I hope you've enjoyed hearing stories about the park while we're wandering around the park, and we sure hope to see you again next time. Goodbye, everybody.